Got a very exciting morning here at Mini Beast Wildlife. We've got two researchers up from James Cook University who are going to be milking our rainforest scorpions, which is nothing like it sounds. They're extracting the venom, so let's take a look at how they're going to do that. So, oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, okay. I might get a different scorpion. <laughs> that one's a bad one? Yeah, it's tiny, actually. Oh, scene five. All right, prepare yourselves. Milking scorpions for important venom research looks absolutely bizarre, but as we're about to hear, the scorpions aren't harmed in the process. Yeah, so basically what we're gonna do is just get one of these scorpions out, um, strap them down on this sponge, um, and then yeah, electrostimulate this venom gland to get some venom. So just lightly hold them down under this perfume. On these claws as well. This is more, yeah, the same before, kind of more for the safety of the scorpion actually rather than us, because these aren't particularly venomous species. Um, but it's better if they can't really move around much. They're going to hurt themselves. Cool, so what we're going to use is this, um, yeah, electrostimulation device. Um, just pass a small electrical current through this tail of the scorpion, or the tip of the tail. Um, what it will do is just contract the muscle around the venom gland and get it to expel uh, its venom into a pipette. Yeah, so it's going to use some saline solution uh, to improve the contact uh, with the tail. Getting the pipette tip over the scorpion sting is kind of like threading a needle, except the needle is venomous and keeps wriggling around. So they just put the tip of the sting into the pipette tip and then yeah, pass a small electrical current through the, uh, tip of the tail. I was just going to say, yeah, you won't be able to see from there, but there's a small amount of venom starting to be expelled into the tip. I might be able to see it there if I put my finger next to it. Yeah, I can see the white. Yeah. I'm a venom spotting professional <laughs> as of 30 seconds ago. So fun tidbit, most venoms are transparent, but scorpion venom is wet and opaque, so at least the researchers can see what they're working with. Okay, excellent. So I think that's all we're going to get from here. And then, yeah, we'll just put it into solution um, with some water. I'm just pulling together quite a lot of venom. So that's from everybody? Yeah, there's seven of them there. On behalf of the human race, I would like to thank you for your contributions to science, and I hope you have a wonderful day.